Rick, it's time to, to head, head, head for home. home. The cop calls it on like damn he's bloody loud. Bloody Leave me be, father. Leave you be? Your life's at stake. Why, your mother would have my head if anything happens to you. No. This is about my honour. And ply what mother does to you, I'll practice. I must prepare. One tanker, two tanker, three tankers, four. If you're feeling badly woozy, barf your guts up on the floor. Five tankers. Why did he have to be like me? Mind if I join you? Think I've the right to stop you from taking a free stool? No right, but you might not want company while you drink. And why might you want to drink with me? I prefer to drink in good company. Doesn't drink true. You don't even know me. That's true. But I know a good man when I see him. So? Do what you will. Everyone does what they want. My son, for instance, has decided to die. He's decided to duel Lieutenant Avid, known as the Butcher of Sidorus. All in all, that makes him a dead man. Lieutenant Avid? Who's that? A killer. Plenty of those in the army. No, killing enemies is not the same as slaughtering your own countrymen. The Butcher likes the latter, and he's good at it. The best. Lieutenant Avid? Who's that? A killer. Plenty of them. No, killing enemies is not the They're going to duel to the death? Are you that ignorant? We've been sitting here for weeks. Nothing was happening, and Henselt don't like that, so he's organized some diversions. You mean tournaments? Not like tournaments, more like murders. Mock battles without the mocking. The jewelers really leave the arena on their own two feet. When our unit learned that Six Company was putting forward the Butcher of Sidorus, there were no volunteers, so we drew straws and it fell to Sven. He can't back out? He can, but he won't. I've pleaded, I've begged, but my son's a stubborn one. The pup's got honor. But what good's honor to a corpse? What if I helped you? What kind of question is that? Could I count on you in return? Save my son, and there won't be a thing I wouldn't do to aid you. I take that as your vow. Where's Sven? Training in front of the canteen, near the mercenary's tent. You'll know him when you see him. Why did they turn out like his mum? Must my devilish for Are you Sven? Who's asking? Somebody who just might save your ass. Piss off! I wouldn't play the hero if I were you. You don't know me. I spoke to your father. Ha! <laughs> I'll wager he told you the sad story of Sven, who needs to be rescued. I'm no wandering knight, and you're no princess in distress. I promised your father I'd help you. Then go back and ask his pardon for tricking him. Will you feel better when they kill you? I'll certainly feel worse if I cower out. I'm the last one who'd ask you to do that. What will you do? Summon the Butcher and send them out on an urgent mission to deflower the Virgin of Edirne? No, we'll fight as a pair against Latand and his second. Your honor will remain untouched, like a twelve-year-old nun's petal. Why do you wish to help me? I told you, your father asked me. And you courteously agreed. Is that so? Yes. You lie. What difference does it make, really? Spoken to the butcher yet? Hello. I'm a bit scared of going against the saint. The enemy have fed you their propaganda. Ah! Well, what if she's truly an annoying... I'm looking for Letan Davit, the butcher of Sidorus. What do you seek? I want to try my luck. Strange. Most shit themselves at the sight of my sword. They say you're equal to a witcher in a fight. They lie. I'm better. We'll see. You'll need to wait. I've a fight lined up already.
we could always duel in pairs. I look around and I see the cream of Kedweni Knights. Someone's bound to agree. I am Edwin Lysum, known also as the Petal. If Latond will have me, I'll gladly stand at his side. Why do they call you the Petal? I've no need for one who plows maidens simply for the pleasure of deflaring them. You offend me greatly, Latond. I owe the moniker to the fact that I place flower petals in the mouths of the foes I defeat. I'll be glad to see anything stuffed in the Witcher's mouth. So be it. Ah, don't worry about it. The Witcher will take care of everything. Aunt, has he agreed? Yes. Some horse and eh? Unique among them. Ready? Uh-huh. Let's go get him. Most gracious king, noble lords, men-at-arms, shortly in the arena you shall witness the famed Leton Davit, known also as the Butcher of Sidoris, at whose side shall stand the honorable Edwin the Petal Lysum. Opposing them are Sven of somewhere and Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. May the gods favor the better men. Begin. Glory to the vanquished! The prize in the contest was a noble title. Our gracious and merciful ruler, King Henselt, shall generously bestow this upon the young Sven. Heralds will announce these subsequent duels. Long live King Henselt! Long live Kedwin! Thank you. You salvaged my honor. He salvaged that foolish head of yours. I'm a knight now. The king himself will do the honors. You were born in a pigsty where the labor came to your mother 18 springs ago. Nothing will change that. Witcher, I said you could demand what you will, and my word's no worse than a noble's. You demanded payment for helping me? This is between your father and me. Who do you pray for? I can't say. And neither can you, father. An old soldier's word is no handful of hay with which to wipe your arse. I'll have naught to do with this. <sighs> Go to Madam Carl's brothel and ask for whistling Wendy. The madam will take you to her tent and leave you alone. Wendy will ask what you wish. Tell her you want her smile to open the gates of paradise. Are we even? Yeah. And beware of Vincent Trott. He may be hiding with the conspirators. Dangerous man, that one. Deathmole's looking for him. And if he finds him, we may all end up tasting the executioner's axe. That scoundrel falls into the sorcerer's hands. He'll give us all up to save his own skin. I'll be careful. Trot wears a magic suit of armor. He could prove a difficult foe, even for you. <laughs> <laughs> 